happy times. Happy times are here again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shooting Stars, the yeah. show. Busy, busy, busy quiz. Yeah, I yeah. am the fly. Yeah. <laughs> if during the course of this evening you should see me do this, <laughs> don't worry, it's simply me doing that. Hello, Johnny. Lovely to see you all. Team B, Ulrika, Chris, and Johnny. Thanks for coming. Ulrika, beautiful as always. She's the queen of the scene, she's the Swedish sensation. The only problem is immigration. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, nice to see you, Ulrika. Will Self! <laughs> Will! Now, um, I saw you on the Millennium Wheel. <laughs> I think it was you. In fact, I know it was you because I was there with my binoculars following you as I usually do. And you're the good week. with binoculars, aren't you? Yeah, I'm very good. Yeah. And I saw you there and you were copying stuff out of one of Martin Amis's books. <laughs> Is that what you were doing, Yeah. Copy, copy, copy. Yeah. Yeah. Bad writers borrow, good writers steal. Yeah, good. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. My pleasure. Uh, the tallest man in the studio. It's all bad. It's quite How tall are you, Chris? Seven foot six and a quarter. Right, so how tall is that? <laughs> it's, um, it's about seven foot six and a quarter. Right. <laughs> you do, you just asked him that. Yeah. Do people ask you that a lot? It's just you're very quick with the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it has been asked before. Yeah. It's yes. a good question, is not it? Oh, that's a fantastic question, yes. But I liked it, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, can see, can, okay, in fact, I'll just ask Chris, just to see, could you come down to, to here, Chris, just so we can see how, how tall you are? Because it's very impressive. <laughs> Because I did want to um, ask, and I know you did as well, Vic. Um, <laughs> what? what were you going to ask? What? I was just going to say, Jesus uh, <laughs> Christ. Uh, thanks, Chris. Anyway, oh. what a height. <laughs> I wish my new edge was that big. Thank you, Chris. And I've got on Team A, Craig Cash. Johnny, that's quite a garment you got on tonight. You going to church later? <laughs> it's spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's colourful. It's colourful? Does what it's meant to. And what is it meant to do, Johnny? Mop up the beer? <laughs> it's showing off my bitch tits, is it? Of oh, course you have got tits. Bless it, you done upon the man. What? I think that's a medical phrase. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's, just a, it's a gown to cover up your tits? No, that would be a bra, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to creep. Lisa. Lisa Rogers. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Oh, look at that, Lisa. Look at, look at the dancing trousers. <laughs> oh, Lisa, are you enticed? <laughs> You're me, honey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a great deal of reaction there, Vic, but, you know. Yeah, but I think I'm on a, a bit of a winning streak there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, right. Well, there's the teams, but there's something missing, Vic, isn't there? Is there what? It's the man with the scores! It's a George <laughs> Good evening, George Laws. How are George. you George! Yeah, very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah? <laughs> have you been personally with that voice this evening? No, no, no. I no? shall be ditching it. It's, it's not particularly effective. I shall be ditching it, you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> George, you know, it's not all that impressive. <laughs> well, thank you, George. Thank you, George. Tell you what. What? To liven up. <laughs> Excuse me, I was just eating a crisp. Nice. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> to liven up. Start of the, uh, the true or false. I was going to say the salt and vinegar. Oh, <laughs> it's understandable. It's a true or false. By being obsessed with that salt and vinegar crisp, I'm almost made an error. A faux pas. <laughs> I'm going to liven it up. We'll kick it off with a big bang. An explosion. That always gets the ladies and gentlemen going. <laughs> Whee! Uh, <laughs> huh? Pretty good, eh? Huh? True or false? Exciting. True or false? First question is for you, Chris. <laughs> what happened? You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Stay down there. Huh? Stay there. 
Chris, can you... <laughs> Stay down there! Stop squatting about, you little monkey! Chris? Tallest man in Britain? True. Yeah? Seven foot three. Seven foot Are four. you the biggest in the world? No. No. Well. Tallest guy in the world is about seven foot nine. Yeah? Has he ever given you a piggyback? <laughs> that would be a sight. <laughs> 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 no, to be honest. Awaker! Mr Vic Reeves, who should be seated... Yeah, there he is. There he is. No, that's not Dirk. Ah, it's Vic. Here, yeah. Yeah, Mr Vic Reeves, every Friday for three years, the last three years, has played solo violin to a local pensioner just to bring some joy to her life. Is that true or is it false? What are you scratching? A lesion. A lesion. Ooh. A carpet burn. Um, I... Mm, I think it would be true. He seems like a nice kind of a guy. It is true. Well done, all It is true, yeah. <laughs> well, it's your question. <laughs> well, true or false, Eddie Stobart insists that his drivers wear ties. <laughs> Eddie Stobart of uh, haulage fame. That's him, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. Norman Desentrangle, the French version, but <laughs> Eddie Stobart. <laughs> He does insist that they be ties, but they can be clip-ons. You don't have to tie a foulard or a Windsor or wrestle with a bow tie. You are quite right, although he doesn't insist on them wearing trousers. No. Yeah. <laughs> so true, yes. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, true or false? A fartigan is an Egyptian sweetmeat. Fartigan. <laughs> True or false? Take your time. <laughs> I go on for Christmas, it's false. You're right, Johnny. It is, in fact, a cardigan that's been farted through. <laughs> good, 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 guys. All right, are they? Lisa. Lisa Rogers. Because you're going to be mine by the end of the night. <laughs> and to prove it, I'm going to ask this question by striding towards you on a plank. <laughs> <laughs> this is your question. <laughs> Lisa. Two or false, a polar bear's hair is white. No, because it also looks grubbier than the snow around it. That's so what you're saying then. Same false. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, the plank's back. The plank worked, Rick. The answer is, you're it's quite right, it is false because a polar bear's hair is transparent. Yeah. Well done, Lisa. <laughs> well done. Okay. That is the end of the two or first round, so dear. <laughs> Oh, no, I ain't been up there. No, I've been up there. <laughs> With us, Rick is in the lead. We're free! Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Right, well, let's Could you just bear with us a minute? We've got Chris on. Well, Greg, yeah. Lisa, we've got Chris on, and there's something we've always wanted to see, yeah, we've always yeah, wanted yeah. to enjoy, and that is the huge shoe. Can we have a look at them, Chris? Do you mind? If we could just take your shoes off, Chris, do you mind? <laughs> you just... I'll have to push you out. Hang on. Let's just get them off. Jesus, the people. <laughs> Can I have that one? Can I have that one? There, I've got it. There we are. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> right. Beautiful! Whoa, look at the waterfall! Look at the rainbow! Look, there's children of all nations! <laughs> but who's this? Who's this coming from the tall end? <laughs> World. It wasn't that extraordinary? It was fantastic, and the music <laughs> sublime. <Yeah. laughs> Next round, ladies and gentlemen, is the clips round. First clip is for Team A. Is it really? Right, Team A, will you take a look at this advert, please? And the question follows. Oh, yeah. Well, they do what? I'll kick your bastard head. Wait a minute. Where'd you get that jumper? It's at the Ulech. 
I like it. Jordy jumpers. I quite like yours, like where you get that. Jordy jumpers. Really nice. Oh wait, let's not kick each other's heads in. Let's go in another pint. I had like huh? that. Jordy, Jordy jumpers. jumpers. <laughs> I didn't know how much that people could get on until I wore a Jordy Jumper. Check, Check it, it out! out. <laughs> Jordy Jumpers. Why? Why, man, I couldn't have a double top until I discovered Jordy Jumpers self adjusting <laughs> under that mountain. What's changed my life? I'm going professional. Jordy Jumpers. <laughs> Jordy jumpers don't miss a trick. Those guys think of everything. Look at your shit. There's a packet, pocket in the arm for tabs and another one for a broad. So good luck. Jordy jumpers. You know, I've nothing in common with these folk, but I find whenever I wear one of these Jordy jumpers, I get on with them like a house on fire. Check it out. Jordy jumpers. Jordy jumpers. Bring together people from different cultures and backgrounds so they can all get on and, like, mesh. The uniting powers of Geordie Jumpers. You can visit our website when it's up and running, but in the meantime, just write a letter. Geordie Jumpers. Now then, team A. Which weighs the most, a jumper or 15 walnuts? <laughs> What sort of jumper? A light, I'll show you a nice lightweight jumper like this. It's light, it's, it's almost like a Pringle. It's lovely <laughs> light and it's purple. Which weighs the most? That or 15 walnuts? <laughs> to prove the walnuts, there's one. <laughs> Come on. The jumper. You're going to say the jumper? And what yeah. do you think? Remember, it's a light nut. There's a lot of air in you there. Think, you the think wool is denser than nuts? There's a lot of air. That's the same between the nut out of casing and nuts. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. With you, Lisa, yeah. As the team captain, I Ooh. think it's up to me to... <laughs> <laughs> and what a weight it is on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> what a nuts weight. Nuts are jumpers. You don't know how cold it is out here. <laughs> what are you saying, Will? Oh, I'm saying the jumper, I think. You're going to say the yeah, jumper. Well, let's find out, because we've got a set of scales here. I'm gonna get yeah, a nicely balanced. Hey, can it? I just serve it? I can't. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for the result of this. So There's the jumper in there. Ooh, that's Ooh, looks quite heavy. heavy. Yeah. But the nuts. There's only 14 there. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Yes, what? the 15th nut makes all the difference. I'm afraid it's the nuts. <laughs> nuts. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Right, Team B, this clip is for you. Take a look at this clip. Now, it's of a sexual nature. It's a clip from um, a sex guide. It's a bit of adult, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll be all right. <laughs> Have a look at the clip. The question follows. Hi, Dr. Pete Peacock here. You join me in the middle of one of my uh, sex classes. That's right, I'm a sex doctor. And we're just doing a lesson whereby I encourage my patients to compliment each other on their bodies. So here goes, Hillary. Why don't you compliment Les on his dick. I like your dick. Les? I like your prat. Now why don't you touch Les's dick? That's good. I think he enjoyed that, didn't he? Didn't he, Hilary? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to touch my dick? Yeah. Please do. Good. Always make sure your bedding is clean, hygienic, and welcoming. Let's have a look at Les and Hillary's. <laughs> mm, it's not bad. Tell us a bit about it, Les. It's her stuff, mainly. It bloody isn't. Yes, it is. It isn't. It is. <laughs> the Sinex are man. What do you use the Sinex for, Les? Opening up the passages? That's a good idea. Your pigeon's dead. <laughs> oh, God! Les, have you been feeding that pigeon Bartlett pears? Yes. You can't feed a pigeon Bartlett pears. It'll end up dead on your cock.
Davey. What's the dirty old raker? Yeah. The question is, why is the missionary position so called? Because you get into the habit. Ah, not quite right, but I liked it. The, the nice religious people used to do it. You were, you... When they were married, when they were travelling around spreading the word of God, they used to do no, it. No, it is to do with religion because uh, in the Bible it specifically states that it's One the only position on... you must use and that any yeah. other position is a sin. Quite, so when you, yeah, that's wrong, more or less it, isn't it? Oh, that, that's what she yeah. said. That's what, yeah. that's what she said. Kind of. Is that's what she said, isn't it, big yeah. guy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it to you. Yes. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. It's a sin. It's a sin to do it any other way. So that makes most of the sinners. Well, that's the end of the clips round, so Georgie does, what are the scores? <laughs> you, you couldn't script it, you really couldn't. <laughs> we'll have three Ulrikas in the lead with four! <laughs> Ulrika! Ta, 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 ta! Well, the next round is the wonderful car round, so if I can ask you all to stand, hold hands and begin to gently sway. As we say, it's the wonderful, wonderful car. The most incredible car. The wonderful, wonderful car. It's the most <sighs> wonderful car. Thank you for coming once again to present the wonderful car questions. And can I ask you now? to come forward and give me the questions for this evening's round. <laughs> what? I can't kind of find the questions anymore. I've lost the questions, man. <coughs> oh, you had them all along. Another one stuck in your mind. Not as if. <laughs> Got an ear. Here, give them to me. Thank you, Wonderful Car. You may arrest. <laughs> wonderful Car has deposited with me. Oh, Bob, 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 before you go any further, I had to get my tyre changed today after I had a puncture. I didn't see the fork in the road. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Fuck. I know, fuck. As I was saying, the wonderful car has delivered questions and allocated them to each of you. There's yours, Vic. Now, first question is for you, Ulrika. Can you name me three celebrities whose names are associated with Moorland? <laughs> but don't give me Moor. Moolah. James Wood, actor. No, yeah. That's one. Well, Moorland, you don't have woods. Uh, oh. Moorland is... is Moorland. Moorland. Oh, um... Moorland. I can't Moorland. understand his quaint accent. <laughs> 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 isn't it? Moorland. Moorland, yeah. Apparently yeah. it's medieval. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, no, I'll hand it over no, to Will. I will, I'll hand it over to him. How about Jack Meadows? No, uh, no. Jack Meadows. Yeah, he's in the bill, wasn't he? Right, it's going over, Vic. Right. First time this series. There Come you are, Will. Will, oh, who is it? Oh. Gabriel Byrne. I think we've Very been, good, yeah, Gabriel, Gabriel Byrne. Byrne. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, Heather Locklear? No, surname. Yeah, Heather Locklear. I'll give uh, you that. That's one. Oh, we're back to you, are we now? What Heather? do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Heather Graham. Heather Graham, yeah. I Heather Graham, Heather. Gabriel Byrne. They got it from me. Oh, Dean Pitney. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Pitney. Where's Gene Pitney? Where's Jean Pitney coming to on this? I'm going up onto the moor. I'm looking at Pitney. Tulsa and Pitney boots on. Tulsa was built on moorland. What is? Tulsa. Tulsa? Yeah. Yeah. It was 24 hours away from a bit of moorland. Oh, it's all just digressing. It's a side issue, I'm man. I'm going to enjoy my egg. OK. Well, let's just calm <laughs> down. No, let's just middle. calm down and put some music on whilst Vic enjoys his egg. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got an answer yet? Not that I'm happy with, no. I'm not happy with the whole question, the whole skin <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, shall we just put it down to experience, make it part of English history and move on? <laughs> <laughs> right, Team B. You okay, Chris? Mm -hmm. Can you name me five kitchen utensils? Yeah, just five. Five kitchen utensils? Yeah, five kitchen utensils with tiny holes in them. With little holes in them. With little holes in them, right. that's right, Chris. 
A sieve. One. A grater. Two. A colander. Three. A, a fish slice. That oh, no, that's a, that's a slit, not a hole. Come on, you were doing well. <laughs> oh, I've got holes in. Uh, yeah, all right, now, yeah. 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 Okay, now Great. we're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Chris. Craig Cash. There you are, sitting at the end, I can see you. I think just about. Craig. It's a club singer question. Club singer, could you help us out here, Chris? We've got a flag, Chris, which has got written on it, a uh, club singer question. I right. just wondered if you could stand behind this circle and wave it for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, for sure. Well, yeah. There you are, Chris. If you could just wa wave it over the top. Yeah, it's the club singer question. Mr Vic Reeves is going to sing a song in the club style. <laughs> Mr. Vic Reeves will sing a song in the club style. You've got to guess what song it is he's singing. If you're ready, George. All right. Just Craig, just you, Craig. Craig, who was it? And what was it? Absolutely no idea. I think it's, uh, um, do you really want to hurt me? No, it's no. not. No. no. Go on, give it. Get, let Go on, look, look, look how cute she is. But I don't actually know what it's called, but I, it's the end of it. Open the door, da da da, let, let me in. in. Well, let me in is a title. How does she do it every yeah. week? Well, well, let's hear that song, song properly. Hey, get nothing in the door. get in the bed. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, George. Thank you, Chris. 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 Thank that's the end of the wonderful car round, so Georgie Dawes, one of the stars! As we go into the final round, Will has five, and Rika's in the lead with seven! Yeah. 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 The next round is the last round, the final round's a quick fire round, we don't know how much time we've got. When the time's up, you'll hear this noise. Because I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right! <laughs> Okay, quick fire round. Want to see those fingers on the buzzers? We're against the clock. Off you go, Vic. I've got a lovely bunch of... And that's cash. Coconuts. No, what's all over me back, but I'm getting them treated. <laughs> and I, hopefully they should be sorted out by the weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. We're against the clock. You know what I make. <laughs> Who wrote uh, Romeo and Juliet? That's self. William Shakespeare. No, Allegedly. sorry, Mark, not for dire straits. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are obese crisps called? Vegas. Lunch. No, potatoes. <laughs> what is the main ingredient in toast? It's so, uh, Heat. <laughs> no. you, you, it's bread, apparently. Because I'm worth it. Ah! That's the end of the quick fire round, the end of the quiz, and one of the final That's scores, George Dawes! We'll have six, but this week's winner with nine points, so Ulrika, you're this uh, week's victorious captain. Who from these present will you choose to take tonight's challenge? Craig. Craig Cash! <laughs> Come and join me and take tonight's challenge. Okay. Craig. Yes. Craig, 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 Craig. It's the psychiatrist's chair. Or... When poultry comes to stay. Now, Craig, if you could get yourself on the psychiatrist's chair, and I'll begin. Get yourself on there. Now, you've gone completely mad, Craig. You're <laughs> twisted. You've gone bonkers. You're mad. <laughs> so we're going to uh, strap you the chair with these, these uh, I, well, I call them straps. You can call them what you like these what, days. What would you like to call them, Craig? I'm going to put the leg irons on, if you don't mind. All right, stop I'll put strap We're going to restrain you. Stop you from uh, escaping. Now, the reason we're restraining you is because psychiatric treatment is not always painless. And this one is certainly not painless, but it works. That's the big deal. This one works. Let me just put on these. Uh, if you well, feel you must, well, I can help you there. Yes, 
We have discovered a new school of psychiatry. <laughs> we have found that poultry, poultry can absorb, absorb madness and suck it <laughs> directly from the brain of a disturbed patient. And surely this is a disturbed patient. Oh, very, very surely disturbed. it is. Yes, now, we're going to ask you to absorb the power of the poultry. We're going to lower varying sizes of poultry onto your face <laughs> to absorb the madness. Starting off with the first, and I must point out, and it's very important, that these poultry are suspended on javelin. Yeah, that is an important on point. On javelin. That is an important point. Now, it's five pounds for every item of poultry that you successfully absorb. First item, please, Mr. First Reed. item is the quail. The quail. <laughs> the quail. Just let it gently rest. And let it drop there. Right, take that? the weight. All right, there we are. Right. <laughs> is that okay? That was fine. Well done. That's, That's fine. Day one. Day, Day one. two. Day two, we've got a slightly heavier poultry. It's a 26 pound turkey. <laughs> Are you ready to take Are you ready it? Ready to take it. Here it's going to make you better. 20 pounds already. <laughs> there you are. There you are. There there is there there. Are. That's good. That's just, good. That is good. That turkey down there. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Craig? How are you feeling? A lot better. Would yeah. you like to take the final item? The final Please. bit of poultry? Yeah. Please. It's a kind of genetic freak. You'll feel a lot better. There'll be a lot of pain. And you'll never, ever kill again. You're going to check it. He's going to check it. A lot of pain, pain will, will retreat from your mind. OK, Craig. Let's lower the beast. <laughs> now, this is a genetically designed... You had it in your... Turkey thing. You had it in your shed. Just stop it there. Now, this weighs between 80 and 85 pounds. It's actually, pounds. it's between 80 and 300 pounds. Yeah. Um, but, of course, obviously, it can absorb a lot of madness. Okay, you take, it, take it. I'll take it. Here it comes. I All uh, the best. Gen genetically designed this in my shed. There we are. And there we are. There we are. You Is take that, that right in there, Craig? Well done, Craig. Well done, Craig. He's taken five items. Come and go in. Well done, Craig. Goodbye, goodbye, whoever you are. Goodbye, 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 good